Hello, today we're going to be talking about 4.2 graphing quadratic functions in vertex form. So previously we learned about standard form that was in 4.1 which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c where a is not equal to zero because remember if it was then we'd have a line. Vertex form is a little bit more familiar for a lot of us just because we used it when we were graphing absolute value. Vertex form is y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So for us, our vertex, just like it was before, is going to be hk. And I'll tell you, a lot of people like this form a lot better because they don't have to do as much work just to find the vertex. It's just given through the points here. Things that you want to remember, though, is that you're going to have to change the sign of h, and then k will stay the same. So it's the opposite of h. Um, when you're writing it as a vertex. And then A is not a slope. It's Remember, it's going to tell you if it opens up or if it opens down. The other thing that we had to do from our previous lesson was to figure out what the axis of symmetry was. And for us, instead of using the formula x equals negative b over 2a, x is just equal to h, whatever the value of h is right here, for example. This is standard form. I'm sorry, this one is standard form. This is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So you have your vertex, the vertex is at hk, and then your axis of symmetry would be this line here, and this vertical line is x equals h. So it's pretty much all of this in a nutshell. Remember, a is positive, it opens up. That's what positive people do. They smile, and if a is negative, it will open down with a frown. So let's try one of these. The first one says to graph the equation, they want us to label the vertex and the axis of symmetry. Even if they don't ask you to, be in the habit of labeling your vertex and axis of symmetry. So for this one, remember that your form that you're looking for is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So what we're going to do is first, let's look at the axis of symmetry. x is equal to says h here, the opposite of h, so this is going to be negative 5. And my vertex is going to be negative 5, comma. This is not plus anything, so I'm going to put 0. I'm going to go ahead and plot those, noting that the a for this one is 1, because if they don't give you a number there, it's just a 1. So this is going to open up. Let's plot what you have so far. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. And you know that your axis of symmetry is this vertical line, x equals negative 5. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next thing I need for us to do is every good parabola has five points. Five points. So this is one. We need two more. So I'm going to make my x and y table like we did yesterday. And I need two points on either side of the vertex. I probably don't want to go way out to 0 because that's going to be a really large number like 0 plus 5, 5 squared, 25. I don't want to go that high. So I'm going to get closer to negative 5, so I'll probably use negative 4 and negative 3. And then you'll just plug in each of these points to find out what your y values are. So y is equal to negative 4 plus 5 squared, which is 1 squared, so that's 1. People also like this method a little bit more because they're easier to do. That's like a lot less work. So negative 3 plus 5 is 2 squared, which is going to give me 4. So let's plot those points. So negative 4, 1. And then I could also reflect it. So now I have 3 of my 5 points because if it's here, then it's also the same distance away. And then negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I'm going to reflect that one also. And lastly, just connect your dots on each side. And then you have your vertex. Love it? Yes. Next, same thing that you just did. Let's do it one more, well, probably two more times, but let's just do it together and make sure that you're all OK with this. So I'm looking at this, and I'm remembering my formula from one slide up. And so x is equal to. 2, that's going to be my axis of symmetry. I can put that in right now. There you go. x equals 2. And then I also know that my vertex is 2, comma, 4. Remember, you're only going to switch the sign of the x part of your vertex, only that part. 
So two, one, two, three, four. Hope you're doing this in pencil. You'll appreciate that hint in just a little bit. Um, I also know that because A is negative, this is gonna open down. And from here, I just need two points. So I'm gonna go for this side of the vertex just because the numbers are smaller and because there's a zero over here. So I'm gonna put in zero and I'm gonna have negative four times zero minus two squared. The number looks like it's gonna be quite large. Negative four times negative two squared plus four, which gives me negative four times four, sorry, I was checking my work. So negative 16 plus four is negative 12. That number is huge and there's no way it's gonna fit here. We'll fix that in a minute. The other number I'm gonna pick is one just because it's not very far and because it's an easy number to deal with. So when you plug one in, you might just wanna trust me, you're gonna get zero. So for one, I get zero, which is fine for me and I could reflect that as well. But this is my problem. Negative 12 is not gonna fit on this line. Not gonna happen. So what I am seeing that we're gonna have to do is change our scale so that instead of going by ones, we're gonna need to go by two. So each line is now gonna represent two, which means this point does not go there. So this is at two, here's two and then four two, four, how to do it. You can't just do it for the bottom and not for that. I actually did see that coming, but I want you to see how that happened for me. So zero, this is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and then reflect it over here. You can change your scale for your Y axis and not do it for your X and still be, um, be all right. So there is my parabola. One more? Yes, Miss Fitzgerald, we'd love to. Looking at this one, I put a fraction in here just so you wouldn't freak out when you saw one later on. It's really not the end of the world because this method is so much easier than standard form that you're gonna like it even though it has a fraction on it. Why? Because I said so. So my axis of symmetry is x equals negative two, so negative two, and then go ahead and draw your vertical line. And your vertex is at negative two comma one. Negative two, one. This one fits. Don't worry about having to change it later on. I promise you it works. Then the only thing else you have to do is to find two other points. Now, for some of us, we look at that fraction and we get a little bit worried. Numbers I like, so I'll probably pick this side and I'll pick zero because zero is pretty easy to work with. And then I'll also, I won't pick one because one plus two is three, three squared. It's not gonna be a multiple of four, so that means it's not gonna cancel out. So instead, I'm probably gonna go all the way out here and do two instead. Trust me, I'm not about that life of doing all those fractions. So we're gonna cancel them out instead. If you did choose one, you're still gonna get the same parabola. You're just gonna have um, a little bit of a fraction to deal with, which really won't be the end of the world because most of you guys are calculator queens or craculators because you're addicted to them one or the other, but either way you have negative one fourth times zero plus two squared plus one. Negative one fourth times two squared is four plus one. These cancel out so you have negative one plus one which equals zero. That's a nice friendly number, I like it. And this one looks like it's gonna be kind of wide. Ooh, can't count. And we kind of could see that coming because we have a fraction here. So this should be kind of a big fatty. The other one, you're gonna have y is equal to negative one over four times two plus two squared plus one. Now here's where you're gonna see why I chose two. I have negative one fourth times two plus two is four, four squared is 16 plus one. I like the number 16 because it will cancel out with the four. I can cross cancel, four goes into there four times. So I have negative four plus one, which gives me negative three. So I'm gonna go out one, two, and down one, two, three. And here. There you go, it's kind of obtuse. Let's, except for that's the angles. 
Now, go ahead and connect your dots. And if yours looks like mine, like exactly like mine, we both lost some points. For one, we did not label the axis of symmetry, which is x equals negative 2. And then we also didn't do the vertex as well. And that is that for vertex form. Thank you.